Oh, this one. Okay, this one I've been wanting to actually play. Um, <laughs> for uh, not even like uh, on stream. I was like wanting to like think of like playing this off stream, but no. Um, we're playing this on stream, I guess. But yeah, Dredge. I'm excited about this for two reasons. Number one, this is a New Zealand title, so this this game surprisingly took everyone or like uh, the entire Steam library or Steam store for like a couple of weeks. It's freaking insane. But also number two, I actually managed to talk to the developers um, who were showing this off as like an indie title at uh, PAX Australia. So to just see them being like this successful is actually really, really pog. I heard a lot of good things about it being like a nice fishing horror game and also having a lot of uh, inventory and stuff elements to it and also lore. So yeah, we're playing. We're playing. Um, we're playing this Black Soul Games. Let's go, New Zealand represent, and we're gonna see how uh, far we can go before we lose our uh, mind playing this. Yep. Can you can you please load? Why why does OBS always hate me whenever I like try and load up a game? Dredge, this game uses an autosave feature. Do not turn off the game when you see this symbol. Um, cool. Can you please load the game? Is that ideal? Oh, right, because I actually haven't put it into, like, the full screen application thing. That's that's probably the reason why it's not working. Okay, can you please work? OBS, can you, pl can you please work? OBS, can you please, please work right now? Thank you. Hallelujah. OBS has finally worked for, um, one day today in the stream. <laughs> I'm kidding, it actually worked last stream or whatever like that, but hey, it works now. Mavitrix, or Mavitrix, yeah, I hope you're doing pretty nice. And, uh, horror game, apparently. I mean, it's basically, from, like, what i like, seen from people's reactions, like, our streamers' reactions, it's, like, it, it's a mix between, like, Stardew Valley chillness and Subnautica megalovania, uh, not megalovania, megalophobia. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how things would go, and then... Dredging the depths, that's very, that is, that's very interesting um, to say, Dredge, thank you very much. Okay, anyway, let's see how things would go. I expect not getting absolutely jump-scared from playing this game. Borderless Window, th th this is the, I think the only game, this is not even Borderless Window. What do you, what the frick do you mean, Borderless Window? It's not even Borderless Window. Why does everyone keep, like, lying about, okay, whatever, I don't care. Uh, 24 hour time, which makes sense. Um, everything on high right now, unless everything explodes. Metric, because we're not Americans. Um, everything else is fine. Camera looks fine. Audio is... Eh, I can drop down the master audio by a small bit. It's a bit loud. Um, but everything seems to be pretty much alright. We'll be playing with a controller anyway, so we'll see how things would go with, um, just a controller view. And yeah, we'll see how things would go. Let's play some games. Play some dredge. Boat. Also, I forgot to start the timer. I'm a freaking idiot. Okay, hang on. Let me just uh, start a timer so I don't forget. All right, job listing. Angler wanted. Hello's there, sir. I see you're um. You're able to just move this boat. Are we gonna die soon? And we got shipwrecked. You had one job to steer the boat, and you failed. Okay, whatever. Also, night light. Nice lighthouse. Anyway, I like the art style, indeed. Art style looks pretty nice as well. It has a very nice sort of comic-y sort of like art style during the cutscenes and the uh, the characters, which looks pretty interesting. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying in the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders and a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you reintroduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay, says the mayor. Do you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Wait, what? Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I had a few of the locals move your things to one of the old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you out get- I can't speak. I'll let you get out there to catch some more fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. I don't even know if I can do a proper voice with this man. I know by the way, XBX. Alright, pursuit added. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Because, um, if you play lots of video games, time passes by so fast- yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Also, um... 
Hey, Flaccid, thank you for the 500 biddies, I guess. Don't send me any biddies, though. We're trying to raise money to charity, for heaven's sakes. But I hope you're doing pretty nice, by the way, is Flaccid as well. Why is the game category thing not changing? Why is Twitch acting like a bit of a weird drunk today? Unless it's just not loading uh, for me, then uh, I cannot bloody tell on, like, the Twitch side of things. But anyway, hope you're doing pretty nice, though, mate. I, I don't need the 500 bits or any, like, monetary stuff from Twitch. I need to, like, pass monies <laughs> to, like, um, to, like, uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, because we're trying to, like, do this as a charity stream for heaven's sakes, but hope you're doing pretty nice, though. Oh, God. But anyway, we'll just deal with it later. Les Bronzendo. Les Bronzendo, if that's how to pronounce your name, though. Hope you guys are doing pretty nice. Also, welcome to the Fox Army, though. Anyway, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Today's been pretty lazy, but overall, I'm doing alright. Okay, undock. So, the Greater Marrow. I, I guess we just undock? I just press A, but okay. Alright, move forward with um, the, 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 the stick. That makes total sense. Rotate the camera like this. That makes total sense. Alright. Move to a fishing spot, and look for splashes on the surface, and then press A to start fishing. Press X to start fishing. Okay, this is the timing thing as always, so we always have to keep track on the timing stuff. Oh, and then we have to like deal with inventory management as well, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, this is a blue mackerel that is 19 centimeters in length, not too bad. Uh, practically worthless, but it's enough to stave up hunger, so... Okay, it's, on, it's actually terrible. Okay, never mind. Y is for inventory. The shoulder buttons are where we can move our cabins and stuff like that. We're on a type, tight like uh, time crunch as well, so we need to hurry and all that stuff. Catch fish for the day, so that's where our first objective is. <coughs> Alright, seems nice enough. Want me to go back before nightfall. Um, something about fog, a bit dramatic. I mean, we got shipwrecked. So, anyway, the mayor asked us to catch as many fish as I can. All right, that is what we're going to do. Can we use the map? And I guess we can use the map. That's a th this map really reminds me of um, Sea of Thieves for some reason, which is not a bad thing at all. It actually looks pretty nice and expansive. Anyway, let's see if we can try to catch some more fish. I guess. What is that thing? It's a boy or a boy, <laughs> a boy or something like that. Inspect. A floating boy. It serves as a mark of safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides us a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Cool. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna keep fishing. We can open the lamp uh, by using X, and we can also rotate... Um, or oh, rotate abilities. That's messages. Okay, we basically... Why is, the, why is the right joystick the one we control? Okay. But we can change our stuff. We're just gonna use the foghorn. You don't have the right equipment for this spot? Well, frick you. Frick you, you piece of frick. Okay, anyway. Alright, fine then. Uh, let me try to equip that spyglass. See what that looks like. I wonder what's that floating thing over there. Hmm. I wonder what's that about. Anyway, let's get some more fish, because why not? Oh god, the QTEs of this. These are very tight QTEs. Alright, oh Jesus Christ, the shape of the fish. Anyway, uh, plentiful and basic, so... Meh. Alright. <laughs> Lesbro with a $20 donation, appreciate that, mate. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, I'm just trying to help, I appreciate it though, mate. Thank you very much for the $20 donation, Lesbro. Okay... Quickly do that. Let me see if I can try and see if there's any redemption stuff we need to deal with. And no, they didn't redeem any um, incentive stuff. I'm not too sure if people were able to like access or buy like um, the incentive stuff for whatever reason. I mean, it worked before. <laughs> Flaccid thing with a $10 do donation as well. I mean, surely it's not it's not showing up, is it? Well, anyway, um, either Tiltify is broken or I'm broken. Probably me. Okay, it's not. It's just that no one's redeeming the um, <laughs> incentives. Oh wait, no! It's actually hidden. Frick, I know what's wrong now. Okay, um, it's actually hidden because I put a timer on there thinking that I will only last, like, a single stream. And now it's gone. So I have to bring it back. Frick! Um, let's, uh, let's change everything. We should be able to see it now. Um, for that, I'll actually just increase the time for it by, like, an extra 10 or 15 
Not 20 minutes, frick it, because that's like $30 donations uh, going through. So if I change all of the settings a little bit real quick, this is definitely not technical difficulties. Don't mind this um, chat. Don't don't worry about this. This is all part of the master plan. Just, just don't mind me uh, staring at the white screen of death trying to configure shite. All right, is that now working? Please tell me it's not working, because if it's not working, I'm going to be sad. Come on, let me show the reward stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, rewards fine, and all the rewards are here. Locks and, um, yeah, that, that seems right. Okay, $10, la la la. All the rewards should be able to be uh, found on the, uh, the page thing, or the campaign page now. So, if you still have extra monies, you can send that through, but we'll increase the timer by, like, an extra, like, um, 30 minutes. So, let's go to, or not 30 minutes, let's go for 15 minutes. Because I don't want to make that even more longer than it is. So, 52 minutes. And continuing on from there, so we're already past like the original time already with the amount of monies that's already been spent. Okay, anyway, back to playing the game. Uh, we cannot fish this, so I'm sad. All right, let's just keep going. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. So if you pause, you're gonna be fine. All right, stock is high, and we got a trophy caught, 29 centimeters. Okay, it's practically worthless, but okay. Alright. Yeah, recipes those who are trying to look for loaf. It's a hundred dollar donation anyway. I mean, the reason why it's like a hundred dollars is that like, my loaf is um, unfortunately very uh, sleepy. And she will yell at me if I uh, don't care or like leave her alone sometimes. Alright, encyclopedia. This is too much information. We're not going to use the encyclopedia. So anyway, let's see what this bottle is. 20th of August, 1927. How old? Unless it's like a diary entry. Morning, second day of the honeymoon, our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. Love the rocks here, the layers and skies. Uh, not skies. <laughs> and colors are so striking. Uh, fishing is relatively poor in these shallow, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. So anyway, that's a um, pretty interesting sort of message here. Seven days until my birthday, which is interesting. Anyway, Tokyo says the brain is braining now. Yeah, that's definitely um, the case. And it may seem like um, the scope looks like a like a sniper sort of thing, but technically it's actually just um, like uh, what's the word? The measurements between like uh, height and like um, whatever, so you can kind of like measure like the distance from far away. So basically, you're just adding rulers to like a lens or whatever. Okay, why? Okay, okay, this is interesting. Since the only time where you're able to move the clock is by moving and fishing, if we stand still, it does nothing. But if we move forward, you guys can't even see the clock because of like uh, the Make a Wish logo. So I'll probably all hide them for uh, for this part of um, the stream. But if you can see, if we move, the clock changes quite fast. But if we stop, nothing. It's just very bizarre. <laughs> very interesting sort of, like, system for time. Do you edit on DaVinci Resolves as I Expert Noob OP? Interesting name, um, but no. I use Premiere Pro in the uh, Creative Cloud, because it's, despite people complaining about it, it's surprisingly less painful than, than DaVinci Resolve on my workload, so that's very interesting. Select the lights by holding... Uh, the left shoulder button and holding X so that way you can see you wherever the frick you are Well, I don't want to get stuck outside So I'm gonna go straight back to the freaking bloody uh, greater marrow instead. I don't want to freaking die All right, ooh squid Why is this much more simpler to like uh, fish now? All right rise from the depths at night to be f uh, to feed or to be fed upon That's definitely not ominous whatsoever All right Come on, hit those QTEs. All right. And uh, let's do one more before we uh, perish. There we go. And we'll rotate that over there. Okay, now we get the frick out of here. <laughs> before we get killed by something. All right. So as to fog and other things, increases your panic, um, which is the, uh, the eyeball that's on the very top that's hidden by the freaking bar again. Uh, okay, anyway. Bright lights and sleeping helps to fix it, which is uh, more resolve that, which is interesting. Okay. Just slowly dock our boat. And here we are. 
You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel uh, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so I'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keep the population fit and satisfied. Understand? Alright, um, selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it, so where do I sell the fish? A local fishmonger will appraise and purchase that, um, what you catch. He's open all hours. That's a respectfully, um, sort of dedicated sort of fishmonger, Jesus. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Alright. Um, ship loan repayments? Only $50. Well, it depends on how much we're able to sell. Um, $50 should not be too bad. I mean, then again, that probably is like 1900s inflation, I guess. You enter a squalid uh, shack in the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz uh, haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, huh? I'm surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands may pay you different, but you've still got a debt outstanding here. I suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. Alright, I have this um, sort of cod here, so I can sell this. Alright. Debt just adjusted a little bit. Um, this blue mackerel, which is apparently worthless. Um, this one's slightly more valuable because it's a treasure mackerel for some reason, so there you go. Um, also damage. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm gonna quickly get that out. We got some hour squid over here, because why not? That's our fishing rod, which we don't want to lose. Um, and then we have this leftover cod. So there you go. So that should be pretty much all of it. I mean, I could also sell all the fish by holding down X, but whatever. Alright, that should be basically it. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you can um, make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Um, you must take those items. <laughs> okay, we have to take this item that this person just... Uh, the mayor has given to us. Like, sure. Okay. Uh, we just flip it over over here, and then we just move it somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where to put this research part, but it can just go, um, here. Oh, one last thing. Our local ship ride mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. That probably would be an ideal solution, um, a solution that we need to deal with. As you walk into the yard, you see the ship right making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up, up at you briefly before turning back to, to her work. Ah. <sighs> you must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A wood number of wooden boards and all well above the waterline are splintered and scratched. Good enough solution. Anyway, take a look around. Just remember the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. Alright, so plan ahead. Okay. Uh, so we have like the equipment down over there. Then we have some parts over here, which is interesting. Like, um, alright. Simple... Okay, these are pretty uh, costly stuff. We can get some more engines if we need more engines. Troll nets if we need the nets in the future. And more lights if you want lights. So that's always pretty hello. Um, not hello. <laughs> pretty helpful. Jesus Christ, I can't speak anymore. Uh, what's the condition of our stuff? Alright, pressing- oh, okay. If I press down the uh, left and right uh, triggers, that's how we can switch. That makes sense. What do we have right here? This is the basic fishing pole. 
Uh, we can sell this and upgrade this, actually. Alright, imagine we just, like, imagine if we, like, go ahead without a fishing pole. That'll be very, uh, whack. Alright, so this can go over here. Um, or can we actually afford, no, we can't afford the, um, thing here. Alright, two hours and stolen the equipment, so now it's 11 freaking p.m. Um, again, it's down to, like, a lot of factors. I expert, I legitimately don't know what is the sort of, like, um, like, uh, devices or whatever you're using. If you're using, like, a MacBook, because you say Final Cut Pro, um, it depends a lot. Like, it's really just down to, like, uh, trying them out first and seeing how it is. I don't know if, like, um, Final Cut Pro has a f trial version or, or anything like that, but definitely watch, like, tutorials on, like, both of them and see which one has a little bit more of a good enough flow for you to work with. That's what, what I would say, because either program would work pretty well as an editor. Okay, so plan ahead. Enter repair mode with the right trigger button to fix damage and restore durability. Okay, I mean, we don't need to repair anything, thank the lord, so, uh, I guess we'll not have to worry about that. And also, we got some extra storage as well, which is pretty cool. Alright. Let's see here, we should probably get some research done, I guess? Because we have, like, a research part. No idea what the hell that is, but... Anyway. Uh, so we can only buy a flexible fishing rod, which allows us to get coastal and shallow stuff, or a hydraulic rod that allows us to catch a lot of bigger species. I'm gonna get this one. I mean, we can also get engines and stuff like that, but now we're broke, so that was all worth it. Okay, anyway, we need to buy this eventually, so it's time for us to get some sleep and uh, continue on doing the work later on. Alright, it's morning, so we now continue on our work. And we, we can at least stare at the encyclopedia so we can see if there's anything interesting. Arrow squid, blue mackerel, cod, unknown, unknown stuff, so that's cool. really like the art vibe, though. It, re it reminds me of, like, um, uh, what was that? Moondrop Bay or something like that? That was another fishing game or something that um, I played recently. And um, the, the art style and, like, the sort of, like, poly models really remind me of that. Alright, anyway, time to undock and get some more fish. If we can get some more fish, but we'll see if we can get some more fish. Like, we have a new fishing rod, so surely we can get some more fish. Surely, right? How you doing, by the way, Ellery? Hope you're doing pretty nice. You don't have the right equipment for this coastal stuff. Well, frick you, then. Guess we'll need to get coastal, um, a coastal fishing rod at some point. YouTube videos are good enough. There's a lot of, like, uh, YouTube video stuff about, like, DaVinci Resolve. Alright. Let's see if we can learn how to do the QTE timings right. We got ourselves a Gulf Flounder. He is a big boy. Alright, anyway. Um, I guess we'll keep fishing a little bit. Alright. Or we can just throw it away if we want to get rid of it. But, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll keep some flounders. Why not? Alright, if you want to keep fishing, we'll just keep fishing a little bit. I don't know how much they wor they are worth, so I'm just going to pick some of them. <laughs> and see how we go from there. With the time passing by, this is a very slow-ass boat. <laughs> well, I'm well, thanks. We finally finished on that art piece, so that's a big pog to hear. We can't catch the- oh wait, we can catch the eels. Okay. Uh, get that. Oh my god, the QTs! All right. Great. Why does that notification sound really remind me of Sonic Frontiers as like challenge complete um, notification sound for some reason? That, that that just immediately rings like a bell in my head. Um. Anyway, I'm relaxing for the night. Got a lot to do over the course of the week, so hope you do pretty well and all that sort of stuff. But big pog to hear that you're doing pretty well. All right, QTE. Let's go. We got ourselves a prized trophy gray eel. High quality stuff right there. Alright, QTE. QTE. Alright, and then we need to arrange this. Holy frick. This is basically making sure that you know how to do geometry. If you don't know how to do geometry, you're completely fricked in life. <laughs> or in this game, um, in particular. Alright. Let's move you down over here. And then move you... Let's... Yeah, we'll put you down over there for now. 
Let's see, is there any interesting fish we can get over here? And the answer is no, because we don't have the coastal thing, so frick. Um, I don't think there is anything else we need to grab, so I guess we'll just head back. Um, catch one last fish if we can, but I don't think we could, because we're broke. So, we're just gonna head back to the dock. <laughs> Law geometry is very useful indeed. Always invest in your geometry skills, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Let's go and dock up over here. Alright. Ship loan repayments. We still have $34 that are owed, so that's lovely. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, uh, I'll pay you above... Oh uh, yeah, pay you. I'll pay you above normal prices. So, okay, tell me about the order. They asked for one gold flounder and one gray eel. Well, I have a solution for you. Okay, anyway. You'll need a rod that can handle all the sh shallow water stuff. Well, I got the solution for you. Okay, anyway. Yes. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until you're ready to go. Okay, we'll just deliver the fish. Alright, deliver the fish. Um, that's not how you deliver the fish. So, deliver the fish. Anyway, anyway, the fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with this. I've got another order here. This one's a little bit more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here, so good luck. It's alright. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell by looking at the surface. I mean, this one's a trophy boy, so... I, I don't know if that means I'm gonna be rich or whatever, but I'll sell with the rest of the fish. And I uh, will return back home. Okay. Don't really have much left in storage. Can we buy some stuff from the shipwright? How much is this? 410! Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to afford that, thank you very much. 10%, 40%. Might as well get my basic fishing pole back. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think selling it uh, from the very beginning was a good idea, but oh well. There we go. Alright, we'll just quickly... Um, I don't want to discard it, so... Maybe uninstall and move it somewhere else. There we go. Oh, it takes time to reinstall the freaking fishing rod. Okay, whatever. At least that's moved a little bit more uh, differently. We'll get some rest, so that way we don't immediately get killed by the fog that's outside. And we keep on doing the fishing. Oh, hi there. A hunch woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Um, I'm just come here to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor, move on. She turns and shuffles away back into the path that leads to the light. Okay, that was kind of mean, but okay. How you doing, by the way, Mayor? Alright, just the person I was looking to see. Would you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow, and would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Y you, you want me to go across the ocean? For whatever reason? Um, alright. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Alright. I'll just put that there. The mayor hands you a small, damn package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Hmm. Anyway, don't forget to check your compass on the map if you get lost. Okay. I, I guess that's how things would roll. In terms of that. Okay. Can we put this into our storage, or... Is that, like, legitimately stuck to, to where we are right now? I guess we can't really put it into storage, because that will be kind of stupid. Alright, so here's the map. So we just have to cross the bloody ocean. Or, like, the, um... Just cross to the other side. That's literally all we need to do. So at least we don't need to cross, like, an entire ocean to get to where we need to go. So thank the lord for that. So it's just the dock across over there. Alright. Let's do some more fishing stuff. Because why not? By time for some chill, um, fishing gameplay, even though this would probably destroy us, uh, later in the future. But we'll see. So much fish. Fish pog. Alright. Um, this is the cod, so we're gonna ignore them. Is there any other fish that we haven't, like, catched yet? Because it's been a while since I've, like, gone through here. This one looks to be just mackerel, so... 
I mean, we can tell now by, like, the silhouettes of the fish, whether they're, like, good or bad, so that's always pretty pog. Alright, this is literally cod, but you know what? Frick it. I might as well fit. Frick me with my QTE timings. Thank you. Okay, just again. Alright, there we go. Time for some fishy arrangements. My Poyo Poyo and Tetris skills are coming in clutch now. <laughs> in terms of, like, getting this right, hopefully. Alright, we got some more guppy or flounders over here. That's pretty handy. Why is there a storm? I, I, I did not agree to fish during a storm. Why did not- why did no one tell me there's a storm? Bruh. Alright, anyway. Alright, we'll reach the docks, and it only took us, like, an entire, um, sort of morning. So, a. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Okay. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. So he hands me some money. It's only $25, so I'm getting, I'm getting ripped off, but whatever. I was given this old book a few weeks back. It didn't make much sense to me, so you surely would get more use out of it. So he gives me a crumpled book from his back pocket, and uh, a number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Maybe you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Thank, thank you very much, Doc Worker. That's very pleasant. Ooh, a traitor as well. Anyway, how you doing, my wee cinder? Hope you're doing pretty nice. Anyway, you enter a brightly lit shop. It is packed with antiques. The shelves are full of jewelry and other baubles. Uh, an old man appears uh, at you from over the silver spectacles. Hello, is that... No, I, I, I don't believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Um, I only got fish. So anyway, uh, we have to head back because we cannot sell the fish. So, time for us to head back. Um, I don't know how we can still get that, um, that got, uh, what's it called again? The black, uh, grouper of some kind, but I think it's probably like somewhere further away. Which is not particularly helpful for catching, but whatever. We'll live, I guess. Squid is relatively easy, though. Alright, because we already got squid earlier. Uh, should I get, like, the, uh, normal fish? Fine. Why does the time go pass, pass so fast? Holy frick. Okay. Uh, let's arrange you like this. Just fit you right where the, um... Where all the stuff, um, all my, like, uh, engines are. Yeah, that makes total sense. Okay. Okay, let's head back, and along the way we should be able to get some squid, hopefully. Hi, how are you, says the gamer boy? Welcome to the Fox Army, by the way. I'm doing pretty nice. Just chilling a little bit here. Okay, let's see. We just have to swim around through here and wait for the squid to pop up. And then we get the squid, and then we'll be done with part of our contract. Or our, our objective, who knows? Is this squid? It is squid, let's go. Alright. Well, the entire stock of this squid area has been depleted and I need two squid. So, uh... We're kind of fricked. I should have not sold all that squid earlier. Well, shy. Okay, whatever. Um, Alright, we'll just head back. I don't want to die and lose my, my life. Ideally, so we're gonna go back over here and mind our own business. I think we probably would need to buy a new engine. I just bought per Kerbal Space Program, which one, by the way. Yeah, this Kerbal Space Program one is pretty good. Ker Kerbal Space Program two is a bit, um, is a bit like hit or miss depending on how you play it, but it actually can be pretty fun still. It's still like a lot of development stuff though. Kerbal Space Program one is, yeah, definitely top tier, so you'll be able to enjoy that pretty damn well. Okay, you can leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Yep, that's about it. Alright, now to regular business, eh? Indeed. Here's some more fish. Alright, 94. I'm only $6 left in debt. Uh, let's see if we can actually buy, like, some actual stuff. Because I need... I need probably another engine. How much cash do I have? Exactly 105. Really? Am I that broke? No, it was only like 105 in total. Okay. 
Um, these engines kind of suck ours. Um, tune this engine in an unfamiliar way, and this is just a rusty old engine. So, great. We're definitely not going to be screwed after a while. Alright, we'll get some rest. And we'll just hunt down some more fish. And see what happens. Alright. And dock, and off we go. What could possibly go wrong? Probably everything. We are going a little bit more faster now, which is good to see. So we're able to go out a little bit more further. And catch some more uh, intricate fish. Maybe. What's that over there? That doesn't seem like fish. Seems indeed. We don't have the right equipment for this spot. It's a dredge. Oh my gosh, it's the actual name of the game. Alright. So we can't do anything about that. That is just cod, so oh well. Might as well get some cod while we're at it. Frick! Anyway, appreciate that stretch by the way. Get the nice stretches. Thank you very much for that brumble. Might as well get some, like, food along the way. Or not really food, but, like, um, some produce we can sell later on. That's better than nothing, I guess, while we're, uh, doing the thing. Alright. What other areas have we not been to yet? I think these look like pretty generic as AF fish. Yeah, this is just mackerel. There's, like, legitimately nothing of value around through here. Um, there's some eels here, though. Wait. I see a, I see a question mark. Uh, the stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. A faint, a faint shape stands upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes, eyes can't focus them. Place your hand on the stone! <laughs> I wonder what could possibly go wrong! The gold stone does not respond to your touch. Oh. I am now sad. I get no stone. Big sad. Alright, sustainable fishing. What does that mean? Select as an active book, pass time to read. Ah, so if I want to pass time for whatever reason, I can read this. Okay, that might be interesting. Alright, let's get some eels while we're at it, because um, we're bored and we have nothing else better to do. Alright, I mean, I have to wait until nighttime to get some more squid, if there is even any more squid left. I'm so bad at fishing. Alright, let's keep going. But yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of other stuff. Oh, another, like, um, message in a bottle. Let's see if I can try and grab that. There's also something behind over there that we can also grab. But we'll see. Alright, collect item. August 21st, 1927. Just some more dates. And there's more floating stuff that we cannot collect because I presume we don't have the, uh, the net to collect it, question mark? I presume that might be the case. Alright, some more flounders over there. Not really valuable. Should we get some more cod? Eh, I'll leave the cod as it is. The mackerel is not really, like, too valuable either. We'll just wait until we get some, like, um, squid we can grab. Because we still need one more squid anyway. Slight accident yesterday and shallows the man of the green marrow. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, let's read some book. Wait, I have to pass time to read. So I have to pass time to f read the book. Okay. So I have to, like, fish and move in order to read the book. That makes total sense. I don't want to fish that. That is not wor really going to be worth it. These are pretty big fish that we cannot catch obvi for obvious reasons. Uh, some more debris that is not useful to us. Alright, and now we slowly return back in the hopes that we get some squid. Right? Game? Right? I get squid, please. All right, this is new. Oh my freaking god! And we've lost the trophy. Okay, that's fine. Aha! It's a black grouper. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, let's do another fishing trip. Are they all nighttime fish? That would explain a little bit of why we can't uh, see the. Okay, now we can't see shite. The lighthouse towers above. Wave crashes endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder on the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of uh, stone shouldering the responsibility of countless of lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. 
Cool. All right, anyway, we'll just um, keep going back. The fog is getting a little bit more intense now. <gasps> Squid! All right, and the spot has been extremely depleted. But hey, we got Squid. That's all that matters, and we can fulfill that order and get some quick cash. Let's go, boys. Also, have we fully read the book? It's only 50% read. Okay. Sure, that's definitely how reading books work. Alright, fishmonger. I have some more fish for that order, so here you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Swap that over there. Go over there. And then, here you go. $92. Not too bad. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I'll let you know when I get more orders in. For now, it's on to business as usual. Hey, that's pretty pog. Alright, so we'll just sell the rest of the left fish. And we have $284, so that's pretty pog. The mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Great Maro is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational once again. I also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad to have chosen, um, sorry. We have glad, we're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I mean, I, I literally, I, I, th this was not my choice. I, I was literally stranded here, but sure. I guess I'm part of the family now. Anyway, this is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel over here. We're talking about extra space, adding attachment points for equipment, even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these pro um, projects, so lumber, metal scraps, and that sort of thing. Alright, so we need to get some materials. I wonder how we get that. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Also, why the frick does he tell you this at 11pm? He's a busy man. He's, I mean, he's the mayor. I'll be surprised if he's awake at 3am, though. <laughs> anyway. So don't worry, we only have half of what we need, so... Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so that's always pretty useful. Uh, we do need- we need do- we do need some stuff, though. <laughs> so, uh, we need the net at some point, and, uh, we are still kind of broke in research stuff. Um, research equipment will appear in sale for shops, but how can we get some more freaking research parts? How do we get more research parts? How, why- we're, we're kind of broke AF. Okay, anyway. Um, so I guess we'll just keep fishing and look around for more research-related stuff. That'll be pretty useful. Alright, pursuits, wait for more orders, that's all done. Encyclopedia is still full of encyclopedia-based stuff. Okay, we'll just, uh, wait over here for the night. And see what happens. Alright. And now we leave. I just banged the freaking hole of the ship, um, <laughs> while exiting, so that's amazing. Alright. If we don't find anything, like, useful on our way back, I want to explore what's behind the, um, the island a little bit. If we don't find anything useful on the way back, or, like, on the way there, we'll just probably fish whatever we get, um, around here. This is... Uh, just mackerel. Just coastal stuff. Like, there's, like, floating woods and pieces all over the place, so... That's pretty much typical of what I expect around through here. I wonder how we can upgrade this ship. Alright, let's take a look around through here. We got some more eels. Why not? Alright, there we go. Alright, ooh. Broken spine with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent in a revenge. Okay, that is an interesting sort of uh, eel. I wonder what the hell happened to that. Okay. Very interesting. Also, very interesting um, skeleton there. Definitely not ominous. Little froggy man, welcome to the fox army. Okay. Um, sure, I'll get some more fish here. Alright. I mean, I don't know how much eels do we need, but... Hey, at least we can fish for eels. Am I going to die here if I go over here? It's just more dredge-related stuff, so it's not nothing really useful. Right over there is just the open ocean. Over here is just more... Um, yeah, just more mackerel. There's just so much mackerel around through here. There really isn't a lot of choices that we can get. Is that a stingray? It cannot be like... Yeah, this is stingrays. 
Hey, got us some stingrays. Let's go. Um, this thing needs to move in a very weird uh, shape. Oh god, geometry. Oh god, geometry. It's math classes all over again. Why did the stingrays have to be weird <laughs> in shape? Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll move you over there and we can catch another one. Easy. Okay, anyway. Voila, I am the genius of getting fish or stingrays. So that's pretty cool. What's that shiny bit over there? Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air, la la la. Um, place your hand on the stone, it does not respond to your touch, and now it goes away. Big sad. Anyway. Got some more Flanders over there. I see a bit of a shipwreck thing over there, which is interesting. Is there like a star thing that allows us to interact? Yep. That's all that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little bit closer, so you look inside. It's a research part. Let's go. Okay, research parts. We can grab that. And uh, some other trinket stuff. Some lumber. An old ch iron chain. So, anyway, we'll take the, uh, the ring, though. That might be pretty useful. And we can store the rest of the stuff um, another time. So, hey, that's pretty useful. Alright, we'll just return the way back. How much space do we have? We have absolutely no space. <laughs> I was about to say, can we fa catch more eels? And the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> we are kinda broke. I mean, not really broke, but like, we're out of space. So, we keep going back. Alright, we'll just sell all of our goods again. Um, yeah, we have no space, so we'll just go back. Reading complete! Check the cabin for bonuses. So now we're able to have a 10% chance of not reducing fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Wait, what? Oh, if we if we catch a fish, it will, there's a 10% chance where it's not going to deplete the population. That, okay, that makes sense. Is there something I should know about Kerbal Space Program? I mean, you, you'll you slowly learn about uh, the, the law of uh, Kerbal Space saying, and physics being whack, but um, you'll, you'll eventually learn after a while. Alright, let's put these things into storage, because we don't really need them for the meantime. Okay... Yeah, I'm going to be curious of whether we can sell that uh, very weirdly deformed eel. Because <laughs> that'll be interesting. Alright. Grotesque fish. So let's show the fishmonger about that. Alright. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I mean, yeah, getting crabs will be nice. I got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you can get it fixed in the ship, right? Um, sure, I'll get them, um, last for two days. That is definitely not gonna last for two days, but okay. Alright, we'll grab them here. Deploy a crab pot, don't forget where you put it. So, yeah, just drop it out at sea anywhere, and then come back after a day or two to check on it. We got, I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish into the fishmonger. He grins, raging the fish to his head. Or yeah, raising the fish up to his head, face before inhaling a dip, d dip, deep stuttering breath. Ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly around the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of his stomach and a small shape can be seen on the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From his stomach he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately uh, patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing. I'll pay for you for the fish too, of course. Alright, it's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll be finding more um, before too long. Holy Jesus Christ, is that a lot of freaking... Oh, I can buy this. I can buy more crab pots if I want to do that. Okay, that's pretty handy. But at least I get the uh, thing back. Alright, we'll be able to pa uh, pay more later on for um, for more of those corrupted things. Alright, $55 for all the stingrays, so we'll just sell all the stingrays over here. Uh, should I buy another crab pot? Eh, probably not. We're probably gonna use this one for now and see what uh, this does. Why does, one, why does this one last for three days and this one only lasts for like two days? Do I need to like repair this thing? Okay, I think I probably need to repair this thing first. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. A man is looking you through for, through your cabin window. His face is mostly in the shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. 
I know you extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. That doesn't sound ominous whatsoever. Okay, anyway. Um, so we have to head south if we want to get some dealings about whatever the heck this handkerchief is. But in the meantime, let's see if we can do some research things. Um, makes it much more reasonable on those on a budget. Yeah, that makes sense. We got some more pots over here. The fish and crab pot for... Ooh. Why does this have to be... Uh, <laughs> hard for us to choose. Two per day, three uh, per day. Oh, we actually get multiple crabs per day. Okay, that, ma that makes it a lot more interesting. Large crab pot for finding some... Um, uh, hold more before it needs emptying, so that's interesting. Okay. Probably stick to one crab pot for now, so that way um, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about the rest of the stuff later on. In the meantime, I would want to like get some more better engines so I don't perish, you know? That, that'll be nice. Okay. Shit, right? Anyway, it looks like that some of that uh, equipment uh, could use some fixing. Uh, we can repair that here, which makes sense. All right, we'll just repair the uh, the the good old crab uh, cage for three days, so that'll be pretty good. All right, do we have enough funds to uh, pay for this? And the answer is yes, but um, I don't think we would have enough space to really add the thing anywhere, so that's kind of whack. So we have to sacrifice uh, one thing to another. Uh, let's put this back into storage for a bit. Um, okay, we want, we have to like sacrifice one of the things over here then, which is really going to be a bit of an annoyance. Small as a fish. Uh, limited reeling speed. Um, since we're probably not going to really do anything with the f um, basic fishing pole anyway anymore, we're probably just going to stick to fishing up. All the other stuff that aren't coastal, we'll probably sell this. Alright, and then we purchase this. Can we just buy two simple skimmers? Oh god. Alright, one hydraulic boy. Um, if I can even put them over here. It takes four hours to sort that out, so... It's already 10pm. This over here. Alright, and we put the, um, the crab pot uh, somewhere over here in the front. This can go into storage. I said this can go into storage, or I cannot put this into storage yet. The frick. Okay. Um, we'll just leave that there for now. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, can we get... How much is the engine? Like, the newly improved engine. This is 100. This is 100. This is 200. Okay, 200. That actually is not too bad. So we'll probably buy that um, pretty soon then. Okay... Let's also put this into our cargo hold, so that way we can not deal with it for now. Alright, so far so good with uh, getting through with this game, I guess. I mean, we're probably not getting any sort of lore-breaking features at the moment, but we're making some pretty good progress. Alright. Also, I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Also, the fishmonger reaches underneath the counter and hands you a damn battered book. Oh, that's pretty interesting. All right, I'll uh, I'll definitely read that um, while um, going. I guess rod reels and rigs. Anyway, I guess we'll just uh, learn or like read this book while we're off uh, doing the fishing things. All right, so I have the crab pot by doing that and deploy one of X. Anytime uh, they catch things over time, but need repairing often. So yeah, that's gonna be really important. Okay. So this, okay, if I look at the mo uh, the screen or whatever like that, it says where the uh, there's like enough crabs or whatever like that um, in like a certain distance. I don't know how far or how deep we need to go in order to like uh, get um, the crab pot sorted out, but everything seems to be plenty around here, which is interesting. All right, let's see if we can fish this boy. It's basically a shark. So let's see what happens. Frick. It's a bronze whaler. It's literally a shark, though. <laughs> anyway, potato chips, tomato sauce. Great name, by the way. Welcome to the Fox Army. All right. Um, I guess we get that. Okay, let's put the uh, crab pot. Since there's plenty, I guess, right next to us, we we'll might as well put the crab pot eh, somewhere over here. All right, goodbye. We'll just we'll see how things would go. I don't I don't know if it, the height really matters, but if it says that there's plenty of stuff, then 
then I honestly don't care. Okay, let's go and grab our light in case we get lost. Or whatever like that. I want to see if I can catch some bigger fish along the way and see if we can get some more research things. Um, but anyway, we we'll might as well take a look around through here. I don't think we fully went around through this part yet. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> Got my throat. What the hell is going on around through here? Also, the thing is still humming quietly. And it still doesn't respond to my touch. Big sad. What in the world is going on over here with the eels? I see, it's a trophy thing. It's a very crooked uh, eel. Again. Alright, that's definitely worth something. Okay. Alright, so we'll just um, see what we can do with that later in the future. Gotta love the nice chill vibes of going around and fishing some stuff. What type of fish are you anyway? Don't tell me this is, is freaking cod. What even is the point over here? Ooh, dolphin. Dolphin pog. Do I have to kill the dolphins? I mean, I have no idea if that's going to be something. But hey, dolphin pog. Alright, let's see around through here. See if there's any more splashes that I'm missing. I'm seeing something over here. That I don't know if we can reach or not. It's already 3 p.m. We should start heading back as soon as possible because this is going to be very whack. Abyss, oh, of course, is like an abyss-related thing. All right, so we should probably head our way back before the um, the the time goes down too much. All right, there we go. I don't think there is anything else we're missing around through here. There's a few areas that I might want to take a look at, but nothing too much, I think. All right. That's, um, I don't think I've actually ever been through over here, so that's interesting. Alright, time is slowly going down tonight. I think we can fish whatever these guys are. Oh, we can get some more of these. Alright. QTE, come on, no! Come on, QTE, no! Alright, black tip reef shark. Interesting. I have absolutely no idea how do I fit you in my bloody inventory, but we'll figure out a way. Hey, that works. And I cannot see shite. Ah, oh, great. We're doomed now. If I eventually go in this direction, we should be fine. <laughs> God, it's super dark. It's hard to actually see legitimately anything around through here. That's a bit worrying. Alright. Just go over here. I have... Absolutely no idea what the frick is over there, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I would like to chill and not figure whatever the hell that is. Alright, anyway. Um, if you're hunting down for specifics, uh, specifics, bleh, species or whatever like that, uh, go through the encyclopedia. So, that's pretty handy. Alright, uh, we'll sell this uh, very weird thing still again. So, we'll sell this. Or sell all of it. You know what? Frick it. Sell, sell all of it. That's That that could also work. Alright. Alright, let's go to... Um, let's see what our options are in terms of like stuff here. We could... Should we add more wad spaces? Probably would need to start getting like net spaces if I want to start upgrading parts of my ship um, pretty soon. Um, especially if I want to like get some more like a hole in like inventory stuff, so... Um, yeah, probably we'll just aim for the, um, uh, it modifies four rods. Oh, we have to modify four rod spaces? Oh, god, okay, this is gonna make things a little bit interesting, I guess. Alright. Oh, you wanted to get a little bit more out of your engines. Take a look through this book on the house. So, I get more books. Let's go. More books, Pog. Alright, um, I'll get to using that, I guess. Alright, let's replace this engine. And get ourselves a bit of a better freaking engine. My stomach is trying to explode right now. Why are there three rusty engines here? Alright, better engine. That'll take two hours, so now it'll be midnight. Okay. And uh, just some lights over here if you want to get some lights. <laughs> just better than a candle, just. So that'll be interesting. 750 lumens and all the other stuff. Okay, cool. That's all I pretty much would need to deal with. And I'll quickly get some rest. We have three more minutes left, so we'll do one last uh, fishing journey and see what happens. Uh, what are our main quests that we still need to do? 
like uh, meet at Blackstone Isle, and also get the common crab and fiddler crab, so we'll deal with that later on. Alright, so let's go and see if we can uh, go to that Blackstone Isle, which is all the way south. So we have to head south, which is on this direction. And since we have some new engines, we should be able to get there uh, relatively quickly, I hope. Alright. Let's see, around through here. There's nothing around here yet, right? Check pots. Oh, we do get a crab. Huh. That actually might be pretty useful. So we'll pick that up for uh, for now. Okay. Got some debris here that we cannot pick things up yet. Um, is it literally right over here? Did we just pass this like multiple times and that's literally the place? Oh my god, it was literally that. That was literally the place. Okay. We could have like legitimately just gone through there originally, but... Oh well, that makes sense. Let's dock over here. M music is really nice and calming as well. Alright. Ruined Mansion. You don't have the handkerchief with you. The man doesn't seem interested in it, so you probably should bring it up to the meeting. So, yeah, that, that would be pretty wise. Luckily, I have this ender chest here that uh, brings me along the way, so... A. I'll, I'll see what I can do with it. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector, he holds it up to the flickering light and studies it, or studies it. So yeah, we're just, I said that as like dialogue, but that's literally him looking at the thing. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. The carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is proving to be a challenge. That's where you come in. Hey, by the way, Hufflepuff, uh, Koala, Kiora. Hope you're doing pretty nice, by the way. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me those lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary altercations. Or alterations. So what do you say? Alright. Sure. Let's see how this thing would work. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box, and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks, all their strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Oh boy. Also, return when you have something. Alright. That is gonna be interesting. Our boat is now equipped with nothing. What the frick was the boat equipped with? Because there was literally nothing that was added to my thing, but okay, whatever. What is this workshop about, though? Anyway, it has been used in decades. Go inside? And it's locked. Of course it's locked. Alright, anyway. I think we can call it for, t for now for playing Dredge, I guess. So that was already like 52 minutes of playing through Dredge. So that was pretty pog. I mean, looking at your name, Hufflepuff Koala. That does not surprise me. Also, Choju uh, Digu, welcome to the Fox Army as well. But hey, Big Pog, um, though, I have a puff. You managed to, like, build Hogwarts over there. <laughs> and in, in the good old Minecraft stuff. But anyway, that is pretty much, uh, yeah, I'll probably, like, uh, I really will want to play this, like, off stream or maybe on stream at some point in the future. Uh, but since we're still trying to finish up Hollow Knight, most likely I'll uh, finish uh, this game later in, like, a uh, different time, I guess. So in the meantime, Let's see if we can, uh, quickly go and choose the next game that we need to play. Stop giving me bits. Send the money to the, uh, the charity stream that we're trying to support. Exclamation mark, donate in the chat to get the, um, get the, uh, the freaking Tiltify campaign link. Stop giving me the monies. I mean, I appreciate the support, though, but please, send the monies to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That's, uh, they, they need it the most, more than I do. All right. Anyway, that was Dredge, ladies and gentlemen. It's already been like 50-ish minutes <laughs> since we played through all that. So anyway, uh, let's see what is our next choice. 